Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a video on basic DIY manicure. So here I'm going to be removing my nail polish uh, that I've applied earlier with a basic nail polish remover and cotton pad. Next I'm using a glass file to shape my nails. It's said to be that um, glass files are a lot more gentle on the nails compared to emery board files. So it would be a good idea to invest on a good glass file. So here I'm using a manicure soak. Basically what this does is to soften the cuticles so that it's a lot easier to push them back and also to cut away the dry extra hard uh, cuticles. So you can actually buy them in local beauty supply stores. I mean um, there are different brands that carry different types of uh, nail uh, you know cuticle softeners so here i'm using the one from uh, china glaze and it works very f well for my um, nails next i'm going to soak my fingers into a manicure bowl if you don't have a manicure bowl you can always use a container glass container or plastic container that you have lying around Here I have two cuticle pushes, one is a orange tip basically and the other one is a rubber, it has a rubber end to it. So I'm going to use the one uh, which has the rubber tip because it's a lot more gentle on my nails. So what I'm going to do now as you can see is to push back the um, cuticles and uh, whatever excess there is I'm just going to go in with a cuticle cutter and trim it. a good time to wash your hands but since for the purpose of this video I'm just using a moist cotton pad and I'm going to remove all that excess um, cuticles that I have actually pushed back and also cut so this is how your nails should look like here I'm using a nail treatment uh, that is meant to strengthen weak and thin nails because I have had um, gel nails on and I have been you know basically dam damaging my nails so I'm just going to apply just one coat of it because this is going to be like a primer to the nails as well So the last thing that you want to do to complete the manicure is of course to apply some nail oil or I should say nail balm. So here I'm using one that has uh, almond oil and vitamin E. So I'm just going to apply it on my nail bed and also on my nails. So it's very important to keep it moisturized and uh, nourished so that it promotes growth. Now the manicure is complete. Now I'm going to show you how I paint my nails and I'm going to add a little bit of nail art. So this is one way you can actually jazz up your manicure. Usually when I paint my nails I do have some smudges. So one easy way to actually remove is to um, use a q-tip that has been soaked in nail polish remover and then you just go over the places where you have the smudges or just leave it you know once you take a shower a nice warm shower usually those smudges will just come off let that polish dry for about two to three minutes i'm going to add a nail art on my ring finger and thumb so i'm going to use nail templates for it it's very quick and easy to apply so uh, you can buy these from local beauty supply stores or nail art stores. 
now I'm going to be using a gold nail polish. I'm just going to paint over that stencil. dry for a minute before you start peeling off the stencil sticker. So seal the nail art with a top coat. So here I'm using one from Orly. So there you have it. You have manicured nails that are painted and also accented with nail art. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.